In the today's video, we made copper and zinc from crushing down tough, and we made tough from mixing andesite and diorite, and we also got flint, iron, and gold. And I'm gonna show you all, but first, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And whilst you're down there, hit that like button because it really helps me a lot. And without further ado, in today's episode, we're gonna be building a lot. What I mean by a lot, I'm gonna build a zinc and copper farm. And before all that, I have been busy. So in between episodes, I just basically optimized my machines to basically make more andesite because we need that in today's video. So basically, I just connected three of my cobble, let's say gravel generators right here to another millstone. So it it just produces some um, flint as you can see basically i did that to the both of them and basically if we go down here i extended the lava farm because we're not getting enough lava as you can see it's slowly producing lava but it's not enough so what i have done here oh so basically what i have done here is connect the input of the lava farm to this fluid tank and then the lava gets exported from the tank to the our cauldrons basically we need a lava farm sooner than ever because when i started playing in this world like maybe an hour ago setting things up this was full 192 and we already consume a lot and it's still going down so we have 5696 basically 5700 andesite and in our quartz department we have almost 9000 quartz so basically i'm just optimizing all of my farms to produce their desired items more efficiently and what i have discovered is you know you can charge your things here as you can see but what i didn't know is you can charge your backpack right here with the battery upgrade using the tesla coil right here as you can see is just put there as you can see the animation it's basically charging the backpack so i'm just gonna let this charge up i think that's probably enough basically i want to get terracotta up here because we're not producing enough gold as you can see we have 330 in the meantime we have almost 9,000 quartz so I'm gonna get terracotta right here because in the last episode if you have noticed you can get gold a lot of gold actually from red sand and also dead bushes so what I want to do is get some red sand right here in order to get red sand basically you need to crush terracotta and that will give you red sand so that's what I'm going to do here basically connect this crushing wheels to up here and get terracotta up here so basically i'm gonna reroute oh basically i'm gonna reroute here push the items up there basically align a belt right here and crushing wheels right here and we can do an exporter i think right there i don't know let me think on an idea and i'll be right back with you guys so basically i'm gonna hook up a drawer right here maybe right here and get myself an exporter like this just like so we have an exporter so basically what i want to do here is put an exporter right there get myself some cables not a shaft some cables running through right here just like so you can tell this to pull out terracotta just like that and like that as you can see it's filling up with terracotta so we just cover this up what i want to do next is get some shafts that's facing the right direction here we go basically bring it to right here i think just like so and get me some crushing wheels i think we have another two more like so like so to power the belts maybe you could just grab a chain drive right here like so is that going the right direction nope there we go now it's going in the right direction uh no it's not 
there we go we have a working crushing machine as you can see i think that's all we need up here basically we're gonna crush our terracotta into red sand then red sand i think into gold so we need a washing area right here so for the washing area i think we just need to little something like this that should probably be enough right there and right there basically slow the belt down so it will get wash okay that works so i sp so i put a rotational speed controller right here and then a large cog right there and chain drives to hook this up to right there so let me grab my belt let's connect you to there that's probably slow enough to get wash but we have a stopping distance right there that we can just okay so i put an importer right here that's connected to a cable and i will just connect that to our machines but for now i want to give me an infinite water source like so and just fill this up with water so just like that we have our washing completed now we all have to do is just connect all of this using in case chain drives and let's hook it up to power hmm so we have power right here and let's see if this will work let's put you right there let's minimize you to one that should be writing it to red sand yep and it should go right there to this set you to red sand yes so next step is connecting this to our storage network that should be fairly easy enough so what i want to do is go like this not there and go down right here just like that it's all connected let's see if we have dead bush no we don't so we need to speed up wait for this there we go okay there we go we're getting gold yes we are whilst this is filling well this is draining should see dead bush in our system yes we do so this is working now all we need is terracotta and i think we're all out of terracotta we are So I've just gathered a lot of lava for our cobblestone generator. I mean our gravel generator. So what I want to do is some build a wall around this. Let me grab some granite real quick. Just basically build a wall right here. Okay, just like that. Because this is where our cobblestone generator is going to be home with. So... I have some drills right here so I'm planning to put our drills maybe at the back so basically the premise of a cobble generator is let me grab some stairs I don't think this is high enough because our drills is gonna be right here right yeah I don't think this is high enough I think that should be pretty high enough then what I want to do is grab some stairs right here for our water there we go that should be high enough I think this should be high enough for what we're about to do so let me just water log those that should what really so I'm gonna make me an infinite water source just like that why is that similar why is Okay, just like that because if we put lava right here 
that will turn into cobblestone. Yeah, just like that. So our drill needs to be right here. So just like that, we have completed our cobble generator once we fill out the lava. So that's our cobble gen done. So what we're gonna do here is basically get a row of mills right here. So basically create gravel. And I think we need a lot of shoots right here. Right along right here. Yeah, we need more shoots. Wait, I have a better idea. So if you put our shoots right here, like that, and we can put another line of shoots right here so it connects all at the top so we don't waste cobblestone just like that as you can see it's looking fairly good then we need to connect our mills right here okay we need more just like that and we need another shoot right here. Just like so. And we need a belt going right all the way here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's the center. Somewhere, something like that. So basically, cobblestone will get generated up there. And then our drills is going to drill them. And then our millstone is gonna crush them into gravel and then gravel will come through here into this belt and up right here. So that's gonna be our gravel farm right there. It's gonna produce a lot of gravel and we need a drawer right here. Basically we have power for our gravel generator. So what I did is basically if we go down here as you can see, this is going to our Emmy system, generating us gravel. Not at the moment, because our gold farm is taking up the gravel. Basically, I have hooked up a belt right here, going to our storage facility. And this belt is getting power to our power factory. And then the power is getting straight to up there. To this chain drives. And basically that powers our whole system and I added the rotational speed controller so it doesn't make much let me slow this down maybe 15 so this is producing gravel that feeds our gold farm gravel so it creates so it creates gold so let me just decorate this like so and that's our gravel factory done next on our list is to make some diorite you're thinking to yourself why do we need diorite because we need tough to make tough we need andesite and diorite and some lava so as you know we have an andesite farm right there but we don't have a diorite farm that's an easy problem because in the last episode we made some quartz and for that we need to make diorite basically we need nether quartz and some cobblestone so we can make that in our automated crafting table and we should be good and i don't think we have we have four mechanical crafters so let's make a small crafting grid just like that so we need to fill this up so we need to make a cobblestone farm because we don't have an abundant of cobblestone we need to make a farm for cobblestone we need this basically in a smaller scale so let me create that real quick so i'm back and i basically created our cobblestone generator right here and our diorite process right here so basically what i did is cobblestone is gonna go through this belt and go to this drawer and i'm gonna hook up this drawer to our storage facility right there giving it quartz and this mechanical arm is basically gonna get 
items from here i'm gonna put it to this brass funnel which is coordinated by the h filter and the diorite is gonna go through here it's fairly simple actually so i take items from that basically deposit items is there that's been programmed so what i'm gonna do now oh, what i want to do now is basically connect this exporter just like so to our storage facility just like so we are connected but we need to access the exporter tell it to bring me quartz let me get the quantify key as you can see we are getting quartz now and simple as that so we're gonna hook up power to this line just like that we are connected to power and this maybe should work nope that's going in the wrong direction gearbox right there and a gearbox right there yep that is going in the right direction now all we have to do is to connect this i need the gearbox like so and connect the shaft up there and that should oh if i put lava to work one piece of lava should do and we should probably hook this up to a rotational speed controller should flow flow wait let me just disconnect you for a bit let that flow there we go we have power let me get a shoot real quick and just like that it's covered let me get another shoot right here just like that so it's covered we have quartz right here we have cobblestone right here all we need to do is to get our mechanical arm to be connected and i don't know how to do that right now because if you do that yeah or maybe we could do something here hmm we have power to our mechanical arm. I'm gonna force this to round robin. And first, I'm gonna set this to what? Right there, right there. So I need exactly two and two right there. All we need is power through here it should be easy enough now we have power just like that and we should be why are you not doing anything your powers to round robin wait there we go we should be getting our diorite right here yes we are now we're getting diorite next is next is to get andesite and diorite and lava into a basin to mix it up to make tough so all we need to do all we need to do is get our basin right here and a mechanical mixer right there that should be good to go we could do an item i never made this item before so it i think it's called an item drain just like so so that will tumble into this and then our output is gonna be right here through uh basically a shoot item drain right there and then a shoot right there and let's do a brass funnel just like that and that i think that should be good i think that should be good just lock you and lock you 
a brass funnel right there and another brass funnel right there if i'm ready all we need to do is get andesite so we have andesite in our system so it should not be hard basically we need to put another another drawer right here just like that then we need to make another exporter no an importer i mean there we go we have andesite right here and we need our item drain right here and i think this is not gonna fit because we need the brass funnel yeah i think this is not gonna fit so let me just destroy you and you for now so when this is all when this is finished making tough blocks basically i'm gonna connect this to our network storage so i'm not gonna put some shoots but basically i'm gonna put some exporters and some drawers so for lava we don't have a lava source just yet but we can steal one from our andesite farm for now so basically i'm gonna do all the lava work and the item transportation off camera so i don't bore you guys and i'll be back with you and we're back so basically what i've done is let me show you i built me a lava farm down here because i don't want to have i don't want to run a pipe because this is already starving with lava and i think it's a little overkill for its size so basically it's that's infinite lava and what i have done here is basically hooked up an exporter i think yeah an exporter right here and an importer right here so this is gonna have our final output which is tough and this is gonna have andesite fairly simple let's see if this works and i think i'm gonna do one at a time and then let's switch you the other way around and let's do one at a time and that should create tough what am i missing oh yeah there i didn't connect this up and just like that we are getting tough hopefully yes we are oh god the lag as you can see we're making tough now but it's pretty laggy so that's tough completed with maybe 10 frames a second so what i want to do now is basically you're asking to yourself why do we need tough because in order to get tough you need to crush tough blocks as you can see if you crush tough blocks you get gold copper zinc and iron and electrum so basically we get all of this by just crushing tough blocks it's pretty efficient we get iron zinc copper and gold and electrum basically what i'm planning to do is to put that machine right over here in a separate thing or we could just put it right here and that's probably what i'm gonna do but you know me i don't plan anything so what i think is we're just gonna put it right here because we have enough space for some crushing oh god but we don't have the fps i think we can put a crushing wheels there and just automate it right there and make it make a building right there and then so that's i think that's for that's what we're gonna do so i've removed the mechanical mixer for now because we're gonna build me a line right here that will crush tough blocks so basically we need some crushing wheels so i'm gonna make a line right here for the crushing of tough blocks and i'll be right back because it's basically the same process as we did last time so i don't want to bore you guys so i'm just gonna get right to it and let's create this machine so this is our final machine as you can see it's fairly compact for what it is so all we need to do is get some brass funnel right here that should deliver the brass right there i'm gonna make it one only and the lag begins <clears throat> you can see i just set up right there 
And we should be seeing all the things. Uh, as you can see, it's really fast for what it is. But I think this machine is done. As you can see, it's giving me a lot of items compared to our normal farms. Plus, we're getting zinc and some copper and some electrum. I don't know what the electrum does. Well, it's fairly useless, <laughs> but we have a lot of electrum, maybe for electrum sheets, electrum wire. Okay. So lastly, we need to put a building on top of it. So I'm going to design a building real quick and I'll be back with you guys because this episode has been a long episode and I don't want to bore you guys. So I'm going to build it right now, right here, right here. Huh? So it's done. Let me give you a tour inside of what I built. Basically I build the facade. All around here is just basically a square building. I added a few details. As you can see at the top, there's a ledge right there and a ledge down there. When you come inside, as you can see, this is the factory. And I hooked up a clutch. So I can start and stop the machines. Basically to prevent lag like that. I added some lights and a little balcony out here. Basically a delivery bay. You can export import items right here. To this pathway. And yeah. Not my proudest build but I like the details. As you can see at the front. So that's gonna be it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and like button down below. While down there make sure to hit that notification bell to alert you my new post.